Hey guys, welcome here with another Art Nights video and this is going to be my follow-up video guide to PRC-2 because the last guide I did for PRC-2, um, I used several Elite 2 units and I've had some comments from people requesting that I do one without any Elite 2 units because, I mean, it doesn't make sense to do this with Elite 2 units when you're using it to farm to make Elite 2 units, right? So, I'm going to be clearing this with Elite 1 units this time. This is going to be my TM. Shaw's not even Elite 1, but it doesn't matter. Um, super important characters, as you can see, well, as you can see, they're all Elite 1. These are, like, I'm giving myself so hard here because my main roster are all Elite 2 units right now, and I'm not going to be using any of them. So, important characters for this stage is definitely going to be a low-cost vanguards, such as Bloom and Fang. I personally prefer Bloom just because she deals more damage. Um, Zima and Texas are also super useful. In this stage, I'm going to use both of them, but you don't need to use both of them. I think just one of them is enough. You just need like roughly two vanguards to generate enough dp early game i'm also gonna have cruise as my main single tar target dps and amia for as my cast no, arts damage dps and lava for some aoe um Brahmanix is here to substitute for a caster because i i don't have anywhere casters left like amia lava and my two other casters are elite 2 right now and i can't use them and the final slot is Shaw. Shaw is probably the most important unit here. Um, you're gonna be using Shaw to push enemies back because later on in the stage, there are enemies who can walk through your unit. So Shaw is super useful for pushing them away. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the mission and I'll explain some of the same things I explained in my other video in case you didn't watch the other one. Um, the most important thing you need to know about the stage, well, the first thing is there are three healing tasks on the ground. So when you put the unit on these healing tasks, they get healed over time. Now, you're going to want to take advantage of these of these styles because this is the kind of stage where you're going to need a lot of damage. And if you use one slot for a healer, you only have eight unit limit. If you use one slot for a healer, you're suddenly go not going to have enough damage anymore, which can, come, which can kind of be a problem later on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. The second problem here, or well, the second issue you need to know is you start very low cost and there's already a wave coming in, which is why you need low cost vanguards. So I'm going to get to deploy Bloom off the bat. And I'll have enough DP for Zima right after. Next unit I want to deploy is going to be my single target DPS, which is who's facing to the left. Okay, super important she faces to the left, and you'll see why later on. And this is where I'm going to put in... You can put a defender here, you can put a vanguard, you can put a guard. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm putting Texas just because I don't have anyone else. And I'm going to save up for Lava on this side. So far, everything's still holding out pretty well. It's very good. I'm gonna have a Mia face downwards over here. So as you see, a big wave's coming in, but they have a lot of DPS in the middle, so it's fine. And Brahminix, as I said, if this was a single target caster, AoE caster, face her to the left, okay? Always to the left. Okay, so... This is basically the entire stage setup already. You're gonna see this leakage, but it's fine because Cruz is facing um, the direction of the leak, and she deals with it pretty easily. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, everything that enters this town on top of Cruz, on top of Bloom, pretty much dies. Now there are some leaks, but they're handled it easily because Amia is facing downwards, and Cruz is facing to the left, so the leakage is handled with properly. Now these are the guys who go through your units. They have high HP. So, and they're gonna go through your unit. They can't be blocked. I'm gonna speed it up now. As you can see, they're gonna get damaged and Shaw's gonna push them back. And that's how they die. Now, I will change this out for my defender because I need someone to hold more units here. While well, damage is done. As you can see, there's another wave. I'm gonna start using my abilities here. As you can see, they do go through a bit, but they're gonna get deleted by both Lava and Cruz. And the Mia also hits from there. And now you have Grounds there who's a boss. So I'm gonna slow it down again here. Um, the rest of your team will handle this wave. And Crown's Slayer is going to go around. So she's not gonna walk to the base just yet. As you can see, while she's walking around, you are dealing damage to her. Or him. I don't even know if Crown's is your guy or girl. And yeah, this stage should just clear itself. Shaw pushes him back once, he goes through. Your defender or guard here is gonna deal with him for a while. As you guys didn't even bother using a skill. Gets pushed away again. And that's it. And he's done. 
So I'm gonna remove my van defender here and let these through. It's just to speed up the run. And that's PRC dash 2 without an elite tooth, because Kevin I did the last one with elite tooth. What are they thinking, right? So yeah, that's basically the stage. Super important. You need Shaw to be skill level four. Um, everyone else's skill levels usually at elite one. You want everyone's skill levels to be one and um four anyway. So that's that's roughly it. Just remember how I position the units because it's super important that your units position the right way so they can deal the most amount of damage when they need to. And yeah, it's gonna be the video, guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you have any other requests for other stages, also put them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys know when I upload new videos. I will be uploading a lot more Ark Knights content soon, and I hope you guys look forward to that. So again, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments down below if i'm talking too fast because i'm excited or whatever also put in the comments i will try to make myself more understandable in the english language all right hey anyway, thanks again for watching and stay well guys thanks for watching